guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so freaking excited, but we are gonna review the new Amarizi Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. This actually just rolled out two days ago, so if you guys wanna see what type of look I create, what my thoughts are on this, then definitely keep on watching. All right guys, so before we jump straight into this review, I said I'll give you guys an update on my Truly Beauty booby polish. All right guys, so as you guys know, I was so beyond thrilled to buy the booby polish from Truly Beauty, and I just freaking love saying that, booby! It makes me feel like a freaking kid. But I bought this, and Corey and I had such a wonderful time playing with this. As you guys can see, it's, it's kind of used. First off, I have to say the smell, is just unbelievable. The smell is so, like it just smells so good. I just like wanna eat it because it just smells like so delicious and sweet. Now this right here, it says it's supposed to lift and tighten the boobs. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't notice any lifting or tightening, but what I did notice is, um, this would be like a little bit TMI. My little nips were uh, nice and exfoliated. Like seriously, they were exfoliated and my boobs became so freaking soft. Not only is it great for your boobs, but I think one of the best things about this is it's great for you and your partner. Like Corey and I had so much fun with this and it's one of the main reasons why I fell in love with it because it can be fun not just for your titties, but it can be fun for you and your partner to play around with. So you guys asked me to update you on this and I want to say that it smells amazing. I didn't notice like any firming or tightening or anything like that, but I haven't played with it for so long. I've only played for it for two days but it's a lot of fun to play around with for both you and your partner and my nips never looked so pretty before they were nice and exfoliated like they look so fresh and so clean clean and the skin was nice and soft so uh there's my little update for you guys on that okay so diving straight into this review this is the new Amarizi Anastasia Beverly Hills PR kit. Uh, I did not receive this in PR. I actually paid for this with my cold, hard-earned cash. This does retail for $69 if you buy the PR kit, which I think is fantastic when brands allow you to buy PR kits, like because it makes you feel like you're like an actual like guru. And for me, I'm just an average consumer, like everybody else here watching this video or anyone else doing YouTube. Like I'm just an average consumer. I'm not a professional makeup artist by any means, nor do I ever claim to be. I'm, I mess up a lot, and I still have a lot of room to grow. But when I saw this is available as a PR kit, I had to get it. Because you can buy the palette for $49, or you can buy the PR kit for $69. That includes a really beautiful mirror, which I will show you. This is what the beauty gurus got. Like this is what all of them get. And it just, it makes you feel so luxurious. Like, <laughs> I've made it, you know? But this is the mirror. This is a really cute, nice mirror. It has a really nice, decent size to it. Hello, look at yourself, hello, hello. Has a really, really nice, decent size to it. I really do like the handles, it's super cute. It has Amarizi on the back. And then on the inside, you do have the nice palette itself. One of the best things about Anastasia Beverly Hills is that they do offer Afterpay. And you guys know I'm a big fan of Afterpay. And the fact that this literally came out on Tuesday, I got it and I paid, I did pay for Express shipping because it's only six dollars paid for express shipping i got it today within two days of it being launched i already have it so that is freaking awesome all right so this is the eyeshadow palette right here i love amarizi when i have the i have the highlighter the amarizi slash abh highlighter oh my god it is one of the best highlighters i think i've ever used it is so freaking gorgeous raw beauty christy sold me on it a long time ago and i I'm obsessed with it. I literally keep it right here on my desk at all times because I tend to play with that a lot. Or I do go into Jaclyn Hills because hers is actually really good as well. So look at this right here. Look at this packaging. The packaging is so freaking beautiful. It makes me want to be like a Barbie and be like, I'm a Barbie girl in the mommy world. That's what it makes me want to do right here. But it's absolutely stunning. I will definitely say that the actual like packaging right here it's a little rough it feels like you're kind of touching sandpaper because it does have that really beautiful glitter to it so it feels like sandpaper so it's not the softest in the hand but then you actually look at the shot oh my god these shadows are so freaking stunning absolutely beautiful oh my god i cannot wait to play around oh that is exciting 
exciting. All right, so what I want to do is I do want to swatch these shadows for you because they just are so pretty, like I just want to touch them. So I'm going to swatch the first, the first row and then the second row. Don't mind my swatches, they're horrible. But the top row we have wasted. We have this beautiful, like, light baby pink shimmer. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's called Barb, Liddy, Cupcake, Dragon, Leo, Gemini, and Georgina. That Georgina totally reminds me of XOXO Gossip Girl. I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen this color before. This color, Barb, it is truly freaking stunning. I definitely had to play around with that because y'all just look at this. I mean, it is just a beautiful, beautiful topper. Like, I have to play that. It's like a light pink with gold reflex. Absolutely stunning. I do notice that there are two pressed glitters in here. Um, it's going to be Liddy and Gemini. I'm not the biggest fan of pressed glitter unless it is the Tati Beauty palette or my With Love Cosmetics just because pressed glitter tends to get a little messy. It's harder to pack on the lid unless you have glitter glue. And it just, it's not the best time. But... I'm excited to play around with these. All right, on on the second row we have Rezzy, Anastasia. Do you guys ever remember that movie, uh, Anastasia? Where she's like, Once upon a December. Oh my God. Okay, I cannot sing, so don't come for me. I know I can't. Then we have New Yorker, OG, Sesma, 1988, BK and you go right there. So these are the color schemes of the entire palette. I think they are so beautiful. I love ABH palettes. They are really, really nice. I think the only one that I was not a fan on was my, my Carly Bible palette. It just wasn't a big fan of that palette, but everything else is freaking stunning. I already told I did, did my finger in here that this palette is going to be a little messy. It tends to be that way, but God, is it freaking gorgeous. So I think with this palette, I think I wanna do two looks. I think I wanna do like an all pink look, and then I wanna do like a blue gold look because like this palette screams different diversity looks that you can do so I'm excited well, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my eyes and let's get started all right so now that the brows are concealed I'm gonna take some tape because I like to do my eyes just a little a little different from most and put it right over here all right who needs Botox you can just like literally tape your eye up all right so the first color I'm gonna go into is this guy right here this is the color Barb Barb right here. I'm gonna take it on my finger. Oh, I gotta get my mirror ready. Dig into Barb. God, that is stunning. I'm gonna place it right here in my inner corner. That is such a beautiful shade. I truly just can't get over how beautiful the shade is. It is so freaking pretty. The only thing I don't like about Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes is just how small the pan size is. They are pretty tiny. Like my whole finger like struggles to fit inside of it. I don't have tiny hands. I can definitely say that shadow went on so beautifully. I wonder how many, what the, what the pan size of this is. Okay, so I do want to let you guys know that there are 14 shadows in this palette, making it $3.50 per shadow. They're all 0 0.026 ounce each. So you are paying a pretty hefty price per shadow for the ounce size of the palette, or for the ounce size of the shadow. But ABH does know how to deliver. They really do. And ever since the Novena collection, they've kind of slowed down their launches a little bit, which I could really appreciate because I love Anastasia Beverly Hills and I love when they actually take their time releasing product. I don't want something that's released every single week like ColourPop. I actually want to really get excited about a collection like this one. I got so freaking excited about. Yeah, I have to say this mirror is actually really comfortable in the hands. It looks like it'd be really heavy, but it's really not. It's really, really comfortable. All right, so the next color I'm gonna go into is this guy right here. This is called Resi. Again, I'm gonna take it on my finger because I notice that shimmers just tend to work better for me when I apply it with my finger over a wet brush. Ooh, so pretty. Now, ABH always includes a little brush in their palettes. I'm gonna take the this little guy right here, dig back into Resi very, very lightly and place it right here just so I can kind of mix the two colors together. Okay, so now that color is laid down, I'm gonna use this guy right here. I'm gonna use this because it's provided for me. I'm gonna go into Sesma, like this purple shade right here. And I'm gonna apply that right next. I'm gonna first pack it in and then buff it out. There's a little kick up on the pan, nothing overwhelming though. All 
Oh my god, so I have to ask, has anyone here watched The Freaking Bachelor? I love The Bachelor. I get so obsessed with it. These girls cry over the silliest thing. Okay, so I just got done watching it, uh, episode two, and spoiler alert, that girl, Kelsey, she's really pretty, but damn, does she cry a lot. Like, this girl cried, like, the entire episode. Then I saw scenes for next week. She's crying again. I was like, oh, my God. I'm not a big fan of Hannah Ann. I really don't know if I like her. But I do like that Victoria girl. She's so freaking pretty with, like, the gorgeous freaking eyes. Oh, my God. This show is addicting. I really want to put some of my friends on the show because I'm like, y'all can, like, really benefit being off the show because some of these girls I think will be perfect for it. But oh my god, it's just so so addicting. Corey hates it. Like every time I put it on, he's like, ugh, and he like walks into the room. All right, so that is that right there. That is so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed with like Barb. The only thing I could tell is that Barb is gonna get like I'm gonna hit pan on it just because I'm kind of digging in here, um, just because it's such a gorgeous color. But I will hit pan rather quickly on that. I can tell. I can tell. All right, so moving on to the other eye. All right, moving on to the other eye. I, I know I look silly. I have to say this palette doesn't have as much fallout as I typically use or I'm used to, but it does have some kick up in the pan, mostly with the shimmers. The matte, I was actually really surprised it didn't have much fallout. And this actually made it really, really easy to blend out this shadow right here. I was actually rather surprised at how easy it was to just blend it out. But I'll be cleaning that up when I go in with foundation. Okay. So on the other eye, I know I'm going to play with the blue shade Leo right here, but part of me really wants to play with like gold and purple together. I think gold and purple would be so freaking stunning together. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I think the first color I'm going to go into is this color Dragon. Go into Dragon right here. What I definitely say is the shimmers, they just lay down so nicely. They're so smooth and buttery. They have a very, very creamy texture to it. It is really nice be so cool i think this mirror is like so freaking perfect i think what i would love to do though is put like little led strips right here so you can have like a nice little like ring light like right in your face oh my god that'd be so cool all right then i want to go into cupcake right next to that there's a lot of shimmers in here compared to mattes god that is such a beautiful color though such a pretty color okay then i'm gonna go back into that sesame color Cause that's such a really pretty purple. I'm gonna place it right next to that. Okay, so the gold is a little lackluster, so I do wanna go into Liddy. This really like a beautiful like topper. I'm gonna start to pack it on very, very lightly right here. Ooh. That is nice and just very, very lightly just tap it on. Okay, so I haven't figured out what I wanna do for my under eye yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes, the rest of my face, and we'll figure out what type of under eye look I wanna do. So I will be right back. guys and this is the final look I did go back in with Simsa right as my lower lash line I went back in with that and I threw on a pair of my alter ego lashes I'm wearing the style craze right now you guys can find these for seven dollars freaking insane but I really really like how the final look came out it, I think it's absolutely beautiful these are colors that I typically don't really play around with I'm all about like the greens and the gold and the oranges so to really play with like some pink and purples is something that I'm just not really used to but I really do like how the final look came together I think it's absolutely stunning um, this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette I have to say so it is absolutely beautiful the shot the shimmers really have a lot of pigment to them you can tell that it's gonna get a little messy for sure I was surprised at the fallout for I was surprised at the mattes like I did kind of play around with these a little bit it may not look like it on camera but I was kind of just watching my finger to see how they performed and there really wasn't as much fallout in the actual mattes as there was the shimmers the shimmers had a little bit more of a kick up and a little bit more fallout to me personally than the mattes but I still think it's a really beautiful 
eyeshadow palette. I was also surprised at how easy this brush was. I tend to not like the brushes that come in the ABH palettes because I just find that they don't really work the best. But this little guy right here, this was a great little packer and this buffed it out so nicely and this just like really brought in the color. I actually used this to do my under eye today. So this was really, really nice and I really like that they actually throw the brushes in here. Again, this is a very, very stunning palette. I'm obsessed with this color Barb right here. This color, oh my God, this color is <laughs> this color is truly freaking beautiful. It is absolutely everything. I'm obsessed with this color. I really wish that they would just make this a standalone shadow and because I would buy it by itself because it just it speaks volumes for itself. It's a very, very light pink with a gold reflect. Oh, absolutely stunning. I really also like the color cupcake. I didn't think I liked that as much, but I really think the color cupcake is absolutely beautiful. The pressed glitter Liddy right here wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Like it really like laid down very, very nicely on the eye and I didn't really have any kick up or any problems with it. All I had to do was pack it on with my finger, not really buff it out, just kind of pack it on the lid and it worked perfectly. So I'm really, really excited about this eyeshadow palette. Like I said, there's a lot more shimmers in this palette than there are mattes, but they blended so beautifully into each other. They were very, very velvety, very, very smooth and very creamy and I really, really like that factor. The only thing I don't like is how I could tell that I will be hitting pan rather quickly on the shadow barb compared to everything else just because the ounces are so small in comparison. Like I said, you are paying $3.50 a shadow, so you have to take that into account. But overall, this is a very, very aesthetically pleasing eyeshadow palette. It is really beautiful. It performed very well. I did two different eye looks. I did use some of the same colors, but you could create so many different looks with this. I mean, you have like a whole row of blues and golds and browns and blacks so you could play around with, make a really beautiful look. I really wanted to branch out of my comfort zone and try something that I normally don't do and I'm really really happy about it. I really can't tell which one's my favorite. I think the color in the middle right here that is the color Rizzy. I had just a little bit of trouble with this one. It just didn't want to be as pigmented as the rest and I kind of just wanted to buff away but I got it to to start finally shine through after manipulating it a little bit and playing around a little bit. I got it to finally shine through but overall I'm very very satisfied with this palette. I think it's just so freaking pretty. I love the the freaking packaging. I think it's gorgeous. Yes, it feels like sandpaper in my hands, but honestly, when I have this in my hands, it makes me feel like I'm a Barbie. Like, I'm gonna start playing around with Barbie stuff. And then the mirror, I think, is so freaking cute. It's a really, really nice, really comfortable mirror. Like, you think this would be a little bit rough on the hands. It's really not. It's very, very lightweight. I think it frames the face perfectly, or at least for me, because like, I have a pretty tiny head, so I mean, this kind of like covers up my entire face. Let's just be realistic here. It kind of does, but I think overall it is very, very nice. I also really enjoy the PR kit. I love when companies offer PR kits. I think it's fantastic. It just makes you feel like you're part of the beauty community and it feels like you get to partake in what big influencers get to have. You get to purchase it for yourself. And like I said, this only retail for $69, which is just $20. It's only, well, if I'm not throwing it on the ground, this only retails for uh, $20 or more. Like I said, this is $69 for the entire kit. Honest Lodge of Beverly Hills does offer afterpay, so you can uh, buy this in segments. So it's four payments every two weeks, and they offer express shipping. I only paid $6 for express shipping, and I got it here in two days. Literally launched on Tuesday, and it already arrived today. But overall, this is so freaking pretty. It's a little irritating. It's a little hard to open, but God. It makes me feel like I'm an influencer. It makes me feel like I'm like a part of the community and I really, really love when companies do this. So this is exciting. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with the eyeshadow palette. I really, really think it's absolutely beautiful. It's so stunning and I cannot wait to add this to my collection. So that is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post three to four videos a week, sometimes even five. Like who knows? I like to film a lot. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It is our little life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures of amazing fiance Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! Are you on? Okay. Alrighty. Oh, my tongue's coffee color. So attractive. Up higher than normal. I suddenly grew! straight into this review. I said I was going to do a quick update on my truly booby, <laughs> truly booby, freaking beautiful, it beautiful. Makes you feel like you're part of the beauty gear community. You can get the entire PR kit that includes the mirror for $69. Uh, Anastasia, Anastasia, y'all get to see how clumsy I really am. <laughs>